Good morning and welcome to Atherton On Air. I'm Anna Fouts. And I'm Samuel Derome. It's now time to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance or take a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks. Now on to some announcements. The United Student Union will be meeting this Wednesday in room 201 from 220 to 315. Are you interested in going on the 2026 summer trip to Germany, France, and Spain? See Ms. Tackett in room 202B or check out one of the posters with QR codes that are hung up around the school. There will be a drive held today from 2 to 5 at Logan Street Market for women and children in need. If you want more information regarding it, email Sierra Miles at sierra.miles at stew.jefferson.kyschools.us or check the NHS or your grade level Google Classroom. To support Autism Awareness Month, Miss Boston's class is selling t-shirts through March 8th. Cash or check are acceptable until the deadline. Last week, the BSU held a Spirit Week and a Culture Fair to celebrate Black History Month. Brooklyn Nally and Kensley LaFleur, the co-presidents of the BSU. So Monday was Unity Day, so wear colors like red, black, green, yellow. Tuesday was Rep Your College or HBCU. Wednesday was Dress to the Nine, so dress up as much as possible. Thursday was Throwback Thursday, and then Friday was Wear All Black. Um, the Culture Fair is different. Um, minority and diversity and religious organizations coming together and giving a pre presentation on what they do, different cultures. Um, I know the step team is stepping. Um, a p few people from the BSU are having tables. I know JSU is having a t couple tables too. So, I think it's been going really well with the themes. I feel like a good amount of people have been wearing the stuff uh, regarding their days. I think it's really important, especially during Black History Month, since we go to a PWI to like show off your culture, it's really important just to show off that side of Black History Month that's more current. Keep up the good work, Ravens. Maggie Stodgehill is hosting a supply drive from March 6th to March 8th for Supplies Overseas, which is a nonprofit that sends healthcare supplies to all over the world, including Atherton's very own Healthcare Academy. Be sure to donate. Congratulations to the 12 people in Atherton track team who got qualified to go to the state meet held last Saturday. The Atherton High School step team will be holding tryouts after school starting on Wednesday, March 20th. Make sure you bring evidence of a completed physical, comfortable workout clothes, and some tennis shoes. For more information, see Miss Norris in room 216B. With the month of March being upon us, Many people are getting a start on their NBA March Madness predictions and bets. AOA cor correspondent Javante Wales took to the halls to ask the Atherton staff and students about their very own March Madness predictions. My name is Javante Wells, and today I will be going around asking people about their March Madness predictions. So what are your predictions about the March Madness? Kentucky all the way. Why do you say Kentucky? Because I want to. <laughs> Kentucky's not going to win, you guys. Uh... You know what? I'm just going to go with uh, the U of L College. Mm. Good off. Okay, so um, who do you think is going to win the March Madness? Man, uh, honestly, in today's college basketball is a lot of parody. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's not going to be my Cardinals, so that's why nah, I call sadly. it March Sadness. <laughs> yeah. March Sadness. Man, I think it might be one of them sleeper teams. Mm. Or how about this? UConn with the repeat for the Uc first time, yeah. first time in uh, like 15 years. I forgot about UConn. Yeah. Well, so math, it's up in the air. I'm mm. waiting for May Madness, the NBA playoffs, baby. Yeah. All right. Happy birthday to Juliana Tripton. That's all for this Atherton on air. I'm Anna Fouts, and I'm Samuel Derome. Rock, Rock on, on Ravens. Ravens.